Our competition team is a team that meets at least twice a week. Um, they scheduled practice twice a week and we teach them everything from jumps to motions to tumbling and then we put it all together, we create our team and we go compete. Competition mode is very strict. Those couple weeks before we go to our first competition is nothing but drilling the students. It's very time consuming, but it definitely pays off when you get to that competition, you see all the other teams, and you know that you're doing your job and making your girls look just as good. And the competitions are so fun. You've got upwards to sometimes 80 different teams there. We've had different teams come up to us and ask our girls to play games, which is so fun because it's not like a rivalry. It's more about we're all cheerleaders and we all have the same passion and here we are doing what we love. Here at Expressions, it's really important to us that our cheerleading program is very family friendly and age appropriate for the girls and the team. Our girls aren't going out on sidelines and cheering for a football team. We're strictly in the room um, working on what they do. They're stunting, they're tumbling, they're dance moves. For us, our big opportunity is taking those girls to competitions. That's our sideline. That's where we're confident, opposed to a lot of high school teams where they are cheering for footballs, football teams. That so you do have professional teachers working with your students. We have mats, we have tumbling mats, we have mirrors, and we have great sound systems that we get to use for the girls. The difference with an all-star team and a volunteer organization is with an all-star team, we have different levels, skill levels. Um, they range from levels one through five, and we can take a child, even if they're young, but they have all their skills and they're confident in what they're doing. We can put them in a higher level and let them challenge themselves and you know, be able to grow and not be stuck in the same little spot that they've been in for the last two years just because that's the correct age group for them. Um, I've always told the girls after the competition to be really proud of themselves because so many people cannot go in front of a large group of people and talk or dance, sing, whatever their passion is. So many people can't do that and I think it's really good for them to do that. And you can really see it in their faces. They're happy to be there. You watch them grow from the shy little girl that kind of just stands there and waits to be told what to do to someone who then takes authority and gets the team, okay guys, you know, we have to start right now. This is what we got to do and they take charge.